Hello Math 100B students. I wanted to give you a walkthrough, make sure you're familiar with how to get into iLearn and a little walk through the course. Uh, as you can see, look, I just logged into my.byui.edu. When you go here to your iLearn, um, it will bring up a bright space and we are in canvas so iLearn is transitioning from two learning management systems from Brightspace over to canvas and so we are going to be in canvas so as you go into canvas you'll see your courses here you'll notice I have different courses than what you have I teach math tutors and I'll teach math 101 and math 100b but right here that's the course that we're in so when you click on that guy you'll see Right here, you can jump to any of the weeks from this class right now, which is pretty handy. This sidebar over here is nice. It allows you to see all those. You won't see these because you can't fix quizzes or make assignments or stuff like that. So you'll only see the things in dark, but that's nice. Um, so a couple of things about this. First of all, this is the home page where you can jump week to week to week. Um, you can go straight to your grades and see your grades from here. Um, and so I'm going to take you first to the syllabus, since that's what this is about. The syllabus, tell you stuff about the course. I'll bring certain things to your attention. So that's me, and here's my office. It would do you well to go and find it. Walk around. It will actually be just down the hallway from our classroom, so you'll need to find it eventually. And you'll notice I have office hours Monday through Friday, 1 to 2. Office hours are where professors sit around and just twiddle their thumbs waiting for students to arrive since professors might be out and about in meetings or grading papers at home or something this is when we pledge to be in our office for students now in the course outcomes you'll notice that yeah we're going to study a bunch of math but you will love math so when I introduce myself in class you'll see I'm kind of a math missionary and you are the investigators so notice right here we are going to have some tests yep we'll have tests we call them celebrations of knowledge because you get to celebrate how awesome you have become yeah you have to have honesty and integrity you will be able to retake tests and we will certainly talk about those um, once we start taking tests but notice that there are retakes available now you should note that if you receive below a 75 percent you need to take a test but you can take it, retake a test even if you get a 90 or a 95 and you want a higher score. And we'll go over how it is possible to retake the test. So homework, you're going to be doing some online assignments. Um, and you'll turn those in and you can actually retake those as quizzes over and over until you get a perfect score. Paper assignments will also come in every week. And you need to show your work. Well, the first few, we're going to be decimals and fractions review and stuff like that and calculators, so you won't be able to show a lot of work. But as soon as you start do, uh, start doing stuff that requires more work, you'll need to show that work um, and check all your answers. If you turn it in late, it'll be half credit. So your first assignment won't be due until Saturday, so we're going to begin it in class on Thursday. Don't freak out about that. But the online assignments, there will be a couple that you will do before Thursday class. One of them is going to be the syllabus assignment that hopefully you can get done by tomorrow. So you will be able to turn in two paper assignments up to a week late for full credit. Uh, there will be homework coupons available to you. I'll hand those out Thursday. So attendance, this is a hybrid course, so attendance is going to be absolutely crucial absolutely necessary so it'll be important you only get to miss three absences because each absence is a week of class so one absence won't have any penalties but since attendance is 10 percent of the grade uh the other two are going to knock you down so uh this is a hi hybrid course you're going to learn a lot online and it's not just a textbook it is wow an interactive wonderful experience where we uh, have some fun and you'll be doing a bunch of stuff online and you're going to have a notebook right with you when you watch your videos and that will be important this you're going to write in and it will occasionally be collected and graded as part of your attendance grade and that's when we do it we're gonna have interviews during the semester where you'll come in and visit with me personally and yeah that'll be cool tutoring you will be required to go to tutoring for this class, Math Center, twice per week. And you're allowed to go as often as you'd like for free. And here are the hours. Notice that it's open like all the time. And so, yeah, it will fit your schedule. If you say you don't have time for that, oh, whatever. Everybody has 
you've got to set aside some time. You need to. So here's what it looks like on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You'll be uh, online watching the, and interacting with the videos and filling out your video notebooks. And there are some self-graded quizzes that you take. Um, and so you'll see that's due by Wednesday night at midnight. Then you come to class and we'll be having some activities active stuff in class and then we'll have some paper assignments due at the end of Friday and taking exams will happen on the weekend as well. So the course materials, the textbook is beginning algebra and it will be in the university store as well as if you don't want to go buy it you can get away with a PDF on iLearn and it's fine. I'll show you where to find that in just a minute. So that's okay good. Down here you'll notice day by day by day is the entire course outlined. So right here, you need to go through and double check that if you need to test out of this class, you need to do it in the first week. Um, and so today it's saying, hey, get this stuff done. Take the syllabus quiz. If you don't get that done, that's all right. Um, you can take it tomorrow and it's retakeable, no problem. And then tomorrow you should be watching those videos and being able to take those first two quizzes on section 1-1 and 1-2. And by Thursday morning, you will fill out a homework report on whether or not you accomplished this. All righty, then it goes through that. So here is the entire schedule of all the assignments for the whole semester. Don't look at it too closely. You'll get overwhelmed. Just take it one day at a time, and you'll be great. So let's jump into the course, and this is what you look at. Modules. You can go in the syllabus straight to these assignments or back up here at the top. You'll notice if you go home, you'll see what's popping up here. The online quiz should be done by tonight. You should watch the instructions for tomorrow. And then there's a couple of assignments due. This is one way you can click straight to them or you can go straight to the modules. And this is probably the most helpful section. It's the same thing as if you clicked on week one here. You'll notice that right here it says week one. So this is, hey, click on that guy, this guy. Then you'll watch the instruction. Then you'll take a quiz. Then you'll watch the instruction. Do your video notebook, take a quiz. And then you'll hand in that paper copy by the end of the week. So this is everything that has to be done in week one. And so the online quiz, we just went through the syllabus. You read it and you take the quiz. And then if you have to look at the syllabus, go ahead. Instruction looks like this. There's a little YouTube video. Now you can play it right here or you can spring it out and watch it full screen on YouTube because there's nothing better than having an entire full screen where somebody is talking about some math. So it'll give you some of these problems to write down in your video notebook. You'll pause the video and then you'll work through them and then you will check your answer against how it went. Cool, that's instruction. And then once you get done with the instruction, you'll be able to say, oh, good, let's do the uh, online assignment. And that's what it'll be called, the online assignment. 1.1 online. And that'll be different than the paper copy. So if you can get those guys done by Thursday, we'll be in good shape. All right, we'll see you Thursday.